So, welcome to Cocktails in the War Room. I'm Mistress Carrie. Welcome to my war room where each and every night at 8.30, we meet to decompress and talk about the day. And I did this for you, hopefully to make you laugh. Um, so last night I was on a, a Zoom chat with a bunch of my friends and they all started digging out their crazy pajamas. And so I thought that I would dig out some of mine. I've talked about it on the air many times that every year my mom um, buys my sister and I crazy pajamas for Christmas. And she still does it now, even though we're full blown adults. And um, so all my friends last night were on Zoom wearing pajamas. So I started to dig through mine. Um, and I wore this, I'm channeling my inner Vincent Gambini. I wore this ridiculous thing for you. So um, for anybody that's new to Cocktails in the War Room, um, this is where we get together at the end of the day. Have a cocktail and kind of talk about what's going on. Um, I'm going to encourage you once again, if you can, to make an appointment and go and give blood if you can. They're not doing big public blood drives. you got to call and make an appointment. But um, the Red Cross is saying they are in dire need of blood donations because none of the blood drives are happening. So if you can, please uh, donate blood. And thank you to everybody that started sewing over the weekend, sewing all of the surgical masks. Um, I wish that I had paid more attention when my grandmother was trying to teach me how to sew. But there are a lot of people that are um, sewing surgical masks. There's a link up on my Twitter feed, at Mistress Carrie on Twitter. And you can get a, um, a pattern to be able to sew the masks. And it's got all the instructions the kind of uh, material they want you to use, all of that stuff. Going to put it out there again that if anybody, um, I don't know what the hell that was, uh, if anybody has PPE, personal protection equipment, um, that they usually use for their job but you're not working right now, so whether it be goggles, gloves, hazmat suits, N95 masks specifically, um, they're really looking for donations um, first responders and obviously uh, medical workers at the hospitals are looking for this stuff. Um, here's one that I've been reading a lot about today. Everybody, there's such a toilet paper shortage that people are using not only the antibacterial like the Clorox wipes, but they're also using like baby wipes and stuff because they don't have toilet paper. Have you seen the pictures of... Um, the water treatment plants and the clogs that are being raked out of those giant pipes because of all of those wet wipes that are getting flushed. Now the wipes might say flushable, but that basically means they'll make it out of your pipes in your house, but where they're going, um, they're not having a good time. So everybody is talking about not flushing your wipes. And because you're using single-use plastic bags everywhere if you go shopping, um, keep a little trash bag next to the toilet and put the wipes in there because all you have to do is Google wipe clogs on the internet and it ain't nothing nice. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you about today and the reason for the outfit, which a lot of people are now saying in the comments that they have as well, the pink nightmare, um, I didn't really sleep well last night and anybody that's ever worked in radio has had the, uh, radio dream where you dream that there's dead air or you dream that you are trying to talk and you can't, or you dream that you're late getting in or whatever. So I had one of those dreams last night and when I woke up this morning for like 10 seconds, I forgot that the radio station had gone off the air. And I got up and was like getting Wednesday up to like take her outside because I, I thought because I had dreamed about work that I had to go to work. And I got up and then it just hit me like a tidal wave. And I was like, oh my God, like 
I know that it's been like a month since the radio station went off the air, which I can't believe it's been that long already. But because I was there for 29 years, like it still hasn't quite hit me. And some days it is worse than others. Um, so being stuck in the house, like I know a lot of people are right now, uh, I know people are starting to do their spring cleaning a little early and um, you're starting to clean those cabinets and closets that you never ever wanted to clean. You're like, someday I'll do it. And now this weekend, a lot of people, this is their someday. So for some reason, because I'm a glutton for punishment, I decided to start going through all of the tubs of stuff when I packed up my office and took everything out of the radio station. And I gotta tell you, today was probably the worst day of the last few weeks. The weekend after we went off the air pretty much sucked. But then after that, it's like the rush of, you know, trying to get your resume together. And, you know, anybody that's ever lost a job for any reason, it's like you got to hit the ground running and, you know, you're trying to do all of that. And obviously all of those things are being slowed down now because um, there's so many other people getting laid off and the whole music industry is shut down. And so there's really not much I can do as far as trying to find another job right now. So I started going through these tubs and started going through pictures and started going through all of the things that I took off the walls in my office and I got super depressed and sad and today sucked. So I was like, you know what? I can't be the only one that's kind of having, I mean, we talked about it last night that um, the World Health Organization is also worried about everyone's collective mental health because it's so depressing to be socially isolated and kind of locked in your house by yourself. And so when I started thinking about how bummed out I was today, I started thinking about how bummed out you might be. So I dug in the back of my closet and I dug out the purple nightmare for you because I thought maybe I could make somebody laugh with this ridiculous outfit that my mother bought for me for Christmas last year and yes my sister has the matching set my mom even has one that's the abominable snowman the, the blue one with the big teeth people wonder why I have purple hair family man you are what you are so I hope that this is making you laugh. Um, I wanted to toast today because it's William Shatner's birthday. And we said last night that it's got to suck right now if today's your birthday because you can't go out and party with all your friends. So to everybody whose birthday it is today, happy birthday. You share it with William Shatner. So I'm sure Mike Shoes having a cocktail wherever he is, which is probably doing the exact same thing that I am. Although I don't know if he... Um, has bunny pajamas, but happy birthday. So the other thing I wanted to do was ask you guys um, how you guys are doing. And um, Marlene says my mom rocks for buying me these ridiculous pajamas. Jeff says this is making him laugh. So good. I'm glad that someone is finding humor in this. Cause I gotta tell you, it's a little, it's a little warm. Um, I'm starting to sweat in here, but I'm doing this for you. So I hope you appreciate it. Um, we need to see a family photo of these outfits, says William Cole. I don't know about that, man. Maybe I got to get permission from the rest of the fam. Oh, I brought a co-host with me tonight. And he's got an AF shirt on. So there you go. So how are you guys holding up? Um, I got to tell you that I've been trying to avoid the television as much as possible just because um, I can't even handle the political like press briefings and the updates. Just it, I'm getting so aggravated that I just get pissed off and I'm in the house by myself. So that makes me want to put on a bunny outfit to try and cheer myself up and cheer you guys up too. So um, people are chiming in that they still can't find toilet paper. If you missed the rant earlier, don't flush the wipes. Put them in a trash barrel if you don't have toilet paper. I did see this woman when I was watching TV um, that worked at one of the wastewater treatment plants. And she said, the only things you should be flushing are the four Ps. And I wish that I remembered this woman's name so that I could give her credit. 
The four P's are the only thing allowed down the toilet. Pee, poop, puke, and paper. Meaning toilet paper. That's it. Don't flush anything else. Hold on. People want more animal. There you go. Get him over here so he can keep me company. This is what my life's become. I'm locked in the house by myself, dressed up as a friggin' bunny with a Muppet. Seriously. I used to have a job. I used to have something to do and some place to go. And now, this has become my life. Thank you for encouraging me in this ridiculousness. Um, yeah, Chris says he's trying to avoid the news and the press conferences too because it just sucks. It's just awful. Ben's having tacos right now, and I am so jealous. Hi, Scruffy. I love it, uh, the, the scrolling thing on there. When you see that people pop in and out of here, I can see who's popping into the conversation and who's not. Um, Kenny says his daughter and his wife and him are all enjoying the war room tonight. Do you know, I, even though I'm not on the radio, I'm still trying not to swear because I had a feeling that you guys were sitting at home with your kids and I'm trying really hard not to say the F word, even though A, the FCC can't stop me and B, I'm drinking and I'm still not swearing. Oh, I need a selfie stick. Okay, let me see if I can get one for you. Mm. So I forgot to do it last night. But I wanted to show you something because I promised you that every night I would show you something that's in the war room. So hold on, animal, you gotta move over here a little bit. Um, so I picked this tonight just because it makes me smile. And like I said, um, today was just kind of a suck day. So um, I got this. Now for anybody that would recognize the logo, it's the YD logo, the Yankee Division logo. Um, which is um, the patch that uh, members of the Mass Army National Guard wear. And when I was getting ready to leave Afghanistan in 2011, uh, they had a little ceremony for me and they presented me with this box that has an inlay of the logo. And inside is this antique compass. And Anna, can you hold, the, hold the phone for a second so I can unscrew this thing. And it is this really cool antique compass that the guys gave me um, before I came home from Afghanistan. And so it just makes me smile looking at it and it makes me happy and I have it on the shelf and when people come over they take a look at it. And um, So I just thought it was really cool. So I want to say hi to all of my guys that are out there right now. Um, I still have my compass and I love it. Get a P.O. box and an Amazon wish list and we'll do the rest, Mistress Carrie. What the hell are you thinking about sending me? That could get dangerous. Last night I was just joking that I wanted people to airdrop ginger beer and limes at my house, but I don't know if the Muppet is cooler than Mr. Potato Head. For anybody that has not watched the mini documentary that was done by... Um, an Emerson College film student. If you go to the Mistress Carrie Facebook page, there's a, a button that says watch video and it's linked right there. And in that video, I talk about when I started on the air that it was really hard for me to just imagine talking to one person. So I put a Mr. Potato Head on the board in the WAF studio and I used to just talk to Mr. Potato Head. So that's why people are commenting about Mr. Potato Head. But what I will tell you is that when I was going through those boxes today of all of the stuff that I moved out of my office, I found Mr. Potato Head. And that was one of the things that like made me sad a little bit. Thank you, the compass is beautiful, says Kim. Um, I love it and it's just, it's very cool. And um, I also wanna apologize for all the technical difficulties last night. I don't know what was going on with the internet service or whatever, but um, the video got all weird and people were complaining that the video cut out and uh, a selfie stick, ginger beer, the possibilities are endless. Okay, well, that might have to happen. Maybe Mike Shu and I will put a wish list together of things that will keep us occupied. Finally, drinking with me. Thank you very much, salute. A lot of people are also asking about the big gig. 
Um, I still don't have official word on what's going on with that yet. So as soon as we get any kind of official word, whether it's happening, whether it's rescheduled, whether it's canceled, I don't know. But as soon as I know, I will let you know and uh, we will spread the word. So um, hello, Hunter. Thank you for hanging out with us, says Monica. Are you, don't, ugh, Annette, I'm trying really hard not to cry. Like I said, today was just a really hard day. So, um, um, Chris uh, also graduated from Newbury Com College, where I graduated from. And last year, that college went out of business. So it's like so many things are just going away. It's very sad. So, um, hello to all of my Newbury College not comics, college, alumni. Um, Anita says, yeah, we lost you last night. I apologize. If I need a bartender, you know, it would be really nice if you got quarantined with a bartender. That would make things a lot easier. I also want to thank everybody for sharing my, for some reason, newly found Prin Pringles uh, addiction. I'm locked in the house with a half a can of... Um, sour cream and onion Pringles, and that's all that's left. So whew, I hope I make it. Um, and for everybody asking me what I'm, what I'm doing next, um, I talked about it a little bit when the video started. Now is not exactly the best time for the entertainment industry. Um, all of the tours are getting postponed and canceled, so all of the record labels are kind of dormant. Um, a lot of the radio stations, there's just... It, Everything in the entertainment industry literally just slammed on the brakes. And so I'm doing everything I can um, to try and figure it out. But it's slow going right now. Um, and as soon as I know more, I will let you know. Um, what's up, Mo? How are you? It's one of my Afghanistan guys checking in. How are you? Um, so that's basically it. Can I, did I get a chance to grab any extra concert tickets when the station closed, Peter wants to know? We put a lot of requests out, trust me. Mike Shu and I were like, um, we don't have to pay for tickets, do we? And I was so looking forward to all of the concerts that were coming around this year, and now they're, they're all getting postponed, and um, it just sucks. Everything, I'm trying really hard to be uplifting and funny and not be irritated. That's why I'm sitting here dressed as a friggin' bunny, but it's hard because, mm, because everything is so uncertain right now. Um, what's up, Dave? Good seeing you too. London, Ontario. Um, what's up, Pete? I asked everybody the other night to chime in on where they were watching from because there was a lot of people that, um, are outside of New England that either stumbled on my page or transplanted mass holes or whatever. Um, Aloha, says Mary. Oh, are you on the beach right now in Hawaii? That makes me really, really, really jealous. Mark says I should be a commenter, uh, a commentator on Fox News dressed as a bunny. That would be interesting. Um, Ron must have ordered Pringles or went out and found Pringles somewhere. And I am very jealous of you right now. Um, do I watch The Walking Dead? I have watched The Walking Dead. I am not caught up, so don't give me any spoilers. Um, Joshua says he had planned for five concerts this spring and summer. And obviously, so many of the shows are getting postponed and canceled. That um, Columbia, Tennessee checking in. What's up, Greg? I'm trying so hard to like read the comments and stuff, but I know, Tim, I miss being on the air at WAF and I miss you listening to me. Trust me. Then I could have worn a bunny outfit and I think I did actually. Was that one of the times that we got snowed in the blizzard when Mike Shue was there and LB was making corn dogs in a deep fryer? Did I wear the bunny outfit that night? I think I did. I can't remember. There's got to be some videos that we can... Um, and we can Google. Allison's asking, what are the quarantine projects around the house? So I had a pipe burst last week. And so the other day I had to paint the ceiling downstairs in that room. Um, I'm working on some things. I'm cleaning out some closets, moving some things around. And when I can tell you more about what's going on, I will fill you in, I promise. Um, 
but hopefully it's going to be some good stuff. So we'll see. I don't know. All right. I got Animal. I got the Pink Nightmare. I hope I made you laugh. Today was kind of a tough day for me, and I can't tell you guys again how much I really appreciate you guys being here for me to talk to because I'd be going a little stir crazy, and I know we're all going through this together. And I know eventually this is all going to get straightened out, and we're all going to be fine, and it sucks right now, but it's not going to suck forever, and we just have to stay positive and you know, support each other the best we can. So however it is that you're doing that, whether you're calling your friends and family, I've been doing a lot of video chatting with my little nieces and nephews that are totally making me laugh with all of the, the little filters that they can put on and turning themselves into bunnies and they might be watching right now. Um, and so that's been really cool just to kind of be able to keep tabs on all the little kids in the family. And also it's been very cool just kind of texting with friends that I haven't talked to in a while and kind of reconnecting with everybody. So, you know, it, it as much as it sucks, it's been really nice to be able to kind of slow things down and really kind of put things in perspective and reconnect with a lot of the people that I love that normally life is too busy to kind of, um, you know, be able to talk to them and spend time with them. And so in that respect, it's been really good. So, um, it's up Springfield. Uh, Maria wants to know where Wednesday is. I told you that. Remember that night a couple nights ago where she was like being a psycho and running around? Normally at this time of the day, she is asked out like asleep, napping, and she's snoring in the other room. And I can hear her from here. So she'll get a little burst of energy in a little while. I'll take her outside and then she'll just pretty much sleep. That's why pugs are the best because they're very low maintenance. They just want to sit on your lap. They want to nap, they want a cookie every once in a while, and then they just want to poop in the yard. And that's basically the extent of their adventure. So um, maybe I'll try and get Wednesday up for the video tomorrow because most likely we'll be stuck right back here again tomorrow. So um, Heidi wants to know, do I have a Facebook page? Yes, you're watching it live right now. Facebook.com slash Mistress Carrie WAF. I'm trying to put everything up there, updates, all of that stuff. I also have Twitter, at Mistress Carrie, and Instagram is at Mistress Carrie, W-A-F. And if you are following Wednesday, my dog has an Instagram, and she's getting a little head about her now because she has almost 500 followers now. Uh, it's uh, at Wednesday the Goth Pug on Instagram, and you can keep tabs on Wednesday. She uploads the photos herself, just so you know. Okay, everybody. I love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep your spirits up. I will see you tomorrow at 8.30. Happy birthday, William Shatner. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that is out working right now, keeping everything running. I know I say it every night, but all the healthcare workers, the first responders, our military personnel, the truck drivers, the bus drivers, everybody that is stocking the shelves. Um, there are just so many amazing people. Uh, all of the people that are delivering everyone's packages, FedEx, UPS, the Amazon drivers, um, the postal service, all of the Grubhub people that are out there running people's meals around. It's gonna get better. Keep smiling, everything's okay. Seriously, how bad could it be? I'm dressed as a friggin' bunny. I love you guys. Good night. Cheers from the war room. I'll see you tomorrow at 8.30. Why do they taste so good?